Hello. Well, like I said at the end of Friday's video, I have a very special surprise and here it is. Ta-da! I am in Albuquerque, New Mexico. and I did the Breaking Bad tour. Oh yeah. Good day. which was awesome got to drive around in an rv has the bullet holes on the doorway from the show and everything Give me this blue meth rock candy that's Walter Wright's blue meth. And it's really cool. And they had trivia during the tour, and I got one of the questions right, which was which episode, what was the episode name that Jesse's friend Badger got arrested in? And the answer was Better Call Saul. Got that right, and got an extra thing of blue meth and a sticker from Los Palos Hermano. And I got to go inside the actual restaurant in real life, which is called Tristos. And it was like really awesome. The inside is pretty much the same as the show. They left all the Los Polos and Mono stuff on the walls and everything inside is still Los Polos and Manos, even though the outside says Tristos most of the time when they're not filming. 
on the outside, but the inside is still Los Polos Hermanos look and feel and Dano's up. So it's really awesome. And there was this like ostrich on this other side of the fence right next to it too. And according to the tour guy, which he did like help with the original show, I guess. So it's cool that he's doing this all vitro. I guess you can see the ostrich in the background in the episode where Walter White put a bug under Gus's car. You can see that ostrich in the background by that fence in the actual episode. So. I didn't know that, so I'm going to rewatch that episode to see if I could see the ostrich that I saw in person. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, he came out of the scene, you know, the scene in the background, ran along with the GPS on Gus's phone. So you can see him in the background. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Right next door to those ponies and manos, aka Tristos. And yeah, got to see Chuck's house, saw his brother from Better Call Saul, and... Alright, now if you look over to your left, give me an oo, give me an ah, mm. Chucky McGill's house. Used mm. on Better Call Saul. Whatever you think of me, whatever colorful names you're calling me in your head right now, please understand I'm true. And if you're looking for a mailbox, that's a prop brought in from the studio. So there's no real mailbox there. Now remember when Chucky was missing his newspaper? He ran across the street, stole the neighbor's newspaper right over here to the right. And uh, it's the actual homeowner who came out in this scene. Yeah, just we went all over the place. Jesse's and Jane's apartment, Jesse's house, everything. It was like so cool. Jesse and Jane's apartment. Out of the window to prevent water from flooding. That was 
side note, no bathtubs were injured during the filming. That was all done in Albuquerque Studio. Now, if you look over here to the left, you're going to see the garage. Uh, that was put in during season five. And so this is where the RV was parked during production. I'm going to roll that clip for you. All right, look over to your left. Give me an Uber. Give me an Uber. Downtown Java goes to Go's headquarters. And they blew out the top level. Just like you see on the screen. And uh, also, I think you can, the Tuco might be up there, yeah. The middle window, there's actually offices up there. So they did all the exterior. Out of the blue, says so she wants a divorce. Says so she's mad at somebody else. So that's good by Charlie. Over and out. You know what you got? She got nothing! Nothing! Hey, Saul Goodman! Saul Goodman! Saul Goodman! Oh, well, why don't we be slippery? Let me handle it for you. All right, everybody say hi to Natalie. How you doing? Got another full load? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think, they're, I think they're wrapping up. Um... Okay, hang on to something. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, bitch! <laughs> training video. For our final topic, I would like to talk about emergency situations. A restaurant can be a dangerous place if you're not prepared. Los Pollos Hermanos should be safe for customers and employees alike. If you follow these basic safety guidelines, I can assure you that you won't be in any danger. Your first line of defense will always be common sense. Or let it live. When you are done using sharp objects, put them away. Nevertheless, now, if you ever show up here, don't need Tuco's car. He gets very grumpy. Yeah. And also, if you look to the right, you're going to see uh, that's where they put the prop main phone. So there's no real main phone here. And it was actually uh, uh, nominated for an Emmy. So we got 11 Emmy nominations. Gus is lab.
That's when Jesse came up here and he turned off the power to Walt downstairs. So uh, we get all the And the main places we got to go out of the RV and walk around was Los Palmas Hermanos, Gus's lab, and Walter Wright's house, which we got to see. A lady lives there and she put like a fence in front of her house because too many people are always throwing pieces on her roof and going into her backyard and jumping into the pool and snooping in windows. So she got tired of it, so she put up cameras and a fence. So we got to take pictures from the other side of the fence. So it was still cool to see Walter Wright's house in person. So that was pretty cool. And the other place we got to go out of the RV in was um, Walter Wright's um, the car wash. We went to the car wash that Walter Wright works at originally after his teacher, teaching's job, after his teacher's job, he goes to the car wash. So we got to go into the actual car wash. So that was really awesome. Let's call us. You know, this tour was like really fun adventure for a Breaking Bad fan. So it was worth the trip down to New Mexico for this. And yeah, I also, after the tour, I noticed that the doghouse, which is in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, is like a 15 minute walk down the street, which we did drive by it during the tour. And I saw like a second of it. Doghouse came out in all five seasons of Breaking Bad. Also, if you're slipping Jimmy, you're slinging cell phones in the parking lot right here at the doghouse. They did all the interior, exterior filming right here. Also, uh, I came out another movie, a couple of them. But I went there on my own time and I actually did a review, which will be coming up. And I also plan on going back to Los Polos Hermanos to do a review and be there on my own, have more privacy and do more filming there. I also plan on going to the dino that Mike eats at and Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. So I'll be doing a review of that. And yeah, just look out for more reviews while I'm here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and the surprise and the videos that will come from this trip after this video. So stay tuned. So anyways, this is it for now. Until next time, catch you all later. Bye bye. Oh,